what I thought I can't really say, but it was like a a oh moment when she flipped upside down, and that's all I could think before she was just on top of me. That she is a one-ton horse, and it almost cost Zach Thomas a lot more than his rodeo career. He broke his pelvis, six ribs, two vertebrae, and had a concussion, a severed urethra, and nearly failed kidneys. I was terrified to get back on a horse again, but it was like this internal battle for myself that I had to prove to myself that I could do it again. And then once I found out I could do it again, I was like, well, hell, I have this obligation I set out to fill, so I might as well fill it out. Doctors told Zach he'd have a 12-month recovery, but the prideful Army veteran was back on the horse in four. At some point, it's easy to say, you know, I tried it, I did it, I'm done, and that wasn't Zach. What was Zach was returning stronger than ever. Just six and a half months after suffering major injuries, Zach won the short go at Casper College's home rodeo. He celebrated his 80-point ride with a shot and a beer. Watch him come back to what he did. Fun for me, fun for the whole team. You know, everybody on the team loves Zach. He's salt of the earth. A couple months later at the college finals, also in Casper, Zach earned a national honor. He unanimously won the Walt Garrison Top Hand Award for his loyalty, determination, and integrity. I'm super honored and proud to have won that award, and I get that scholarship now, so now I can go back to school and try to get my bachelor's degree. Zach is pursuing a bachelor's degree in social work. He'll use the same mentality that helped him overcome his obstacles to help others overcome theirs. Don't let anybody else set you back or your mind set you back or a situation like an in injury like that set you back. If you set your mind to it and believe in yourself, you can actually come back. For K2 Sports in Casper, I'm Carmine Jumet.